Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share some clips from my time out in Ottawa where uh, I lucked out and I got to fly a 172 on straight floats, QFA. This little baby right here, giving float endorsements out in Constance Lake, Ottawa. I got to stay at uh, Constance Lake Lodge, a wonderful place to stay. Chuck and Sylvie are top-notch hosts. You can rent a little cabin there. So I got to stay there two weeks at a time, flying my butt off on QFA. I really lucked out because poor old John broke his foot and I had to fill in for him. Otherwise I would have been here in Aurelia the whole time. But uh, you'll see the clips from flying in Quebec, just spectacular. I hope you enjoy. All the best. I had a lot of fun flying with Phil. We finished his float rating early, so we were able to do beaching and uh, some more docking practice, glassy water, at his cottage on his lake. He lived nearby. It was uh, very cool and a good guy, good pilot. Uh, had a lot of fun. This was a cool spot. I sort of pioneered this spot with a student and we were flying along one day, had a look and looked pretty cool. Tried it out, worked great and I ended up hitting this spot with a few students. It was a long lake. You didn't need to taxi back if you did it right, but to do it right sort of required either some side slipping or some uh, comfort level with the terrain, obviously. You get a lot of noise complaints here, but I figured one over the whole summer wouldn't hurt anyone. Looking at this video, I probably should have gone around considering how close we got to that boat, but uh, I guess at the time we felt we had plenty of room. This was a fun spot. I did a lot of step turn practice with it. Uh, we didn't do any step turns with this one just because the way that uh, you know we landed long and uh, had a straight takeoff path here. Normally it was around that corner we do a step turn. Mm, I went to get a blanket and there's this huge right here waiting for me. I knew this guy was a good student, so I wasn't too worried, but that was two minutes till official sunset, believe it or not. Look at all them mosquito eggs. Just kidding. That's pollen floating off the tops of the trees, and you can see it in the water. This is over Poisson Blanc, and the mosquito eggs thing is sort of an inside joke when I was a dock hand in Red Red Lake, I seriously thought that that pollen you see around the float was mosquito eggs, and I'm pretty sure I told someone like I knew, and yeah, basically made a fool of myself. It was great flying with the students from the Algonquin Flight College and the Ottawa Flying Club because they were all very current and they were all very keen. Um, all these guys and girls wanted to be commercial pilots and they already had extensive ground school on seaplane flying so all I had was a set, of, set amount of lessons to teach in the uh, seven hour um, period. Of course if, if someone needs more time um, we take it and sometimes weather is an issue you know you can't get where you want to go and things don't always work out but for the most part these students made my job super easy and super enjoyable 
and uh, I learned a lot as well as uh, I hope my students did. I'll hop out and catch it for you. There we go. <laughs> well, it's not the worst I've been on. Poisson Blanc was probably my favorite, well one of my favorite lakes to go to. You could spend days here just having fun. You know, it's a playground for seaplane. Uh, there are a few people around with uh, boats and quite often I'd come across some people here on the beach camping and whatnot. Um, so if you ever had a problem, you know, you wouldn't have to spend more than a night uh, before getting help either through search and rescue or just someone here and uh, you could always find a protected area to land in with all the islands and it was just scenic that clip earlier with all the pollen floating through the air that was here uh, I did a lot of uh, beachings crosswinds and uh, rough water um, and uh, uh, some advanced training and uh, this lake is another lake, <coughs> excuse me, which I'll talk about a bit later. I'll let the cliff run because it's just spectacular.
this is the spot I was talking about earlier. In any sort of wind, this place is super sketchy. Uh, that's an 800 foot cliff on the far side. The lake is a U-shaped lake. Uh, you're over water the whole time, so it's, it's actually quite comfortable when the conditions are right. Uh, you don't need to do a steep turn to stay within the terrain either. Uh, as you can see here, it's quite a gentle turn and uh, you're always over water and with the leaves changing here it's just beautiful. But yeah, there's there's no way you can outclimb the, the terrain there. Maybe right in front of you there, but that's super sketchy. You never fly directly at the terrain. You always cross at a 45 and always keep an out. So you just keep her turning here and you're always over water. Are you sure you haven't been doing this your whole life? No. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh, these guys were interesting. One of them was from Australia. The other guy was a local guy, and uh, they got an hour of sightseeing. Had a lot of fun. We actually saw a guy bungee jump while we were doing the sightseeing flight. That was pretty unique. So, yeah, it was it was pretty fun. Look at all this plant life at Constance Lake. This made it almost impossible to steer because as you would taxi along, it would collect on the water rudders. And the water rudders are designed to raise on their own in case you go over a shoal or a sandbar or something or you're beaching it. They're designed to retract and you lose your steering and, and the plane wants to weather vane uh, into wind whenever, whenever that happens. So. I made a liar of myself on the first flight with uh, Laura because I told her, oh yeah, we never use plow taxi. I, I basically got verbally castrated up north for suggesting plow taxi because it overheats the engine and it, you know, if you're in rough water, it, it erodes the prop. So obviously they want to get you to keep RPMs as low as possible. So I tell her, oh yeah, we never use plow taxi. So the first thing we do, plow taxi. We get out in Constance Lake, all that crap, the water rudders lift right up and starts weather veining us towards the trees. The last few photos are Laura's, the rest are, are mine. I don't mention everyone in here. Um, if you know some clips were you or you want me to give you a, a mention, let me know and I'd be happy to include you. got to stop at the Canada Air and Space Museum, which was a lot of fun because there was an aircraft there with a bit of a personal connection. Uh, my grandfather flew for uh, Superior Airways in the 50s. Uh, Orville Wieben uh, was the guy who hired him. He's, uh, I guess, a bit of a legend <laughs> in Ontario. Uh, so he had Stinson Reliant, this one here, uh, SR9, built in the 30s. 
And uh, my grandfather's friend, uh, Ellis Culleton, bought it and repainted it as seen here in this photo of my grandfather's. And uh, Ellis Culleton metalized it and put a door on the right hand side and those mods can still be seen today in the museum. <laughs> Cynthia um, did a lot of flying. She uh, spent her vacation days and vacation pay flying float planes. So this was her summer vacation. We just flew around and had fun all over Ottawa. I lived right on the seaplane base renting a cabin there, so when I wasn't eating at the lodge, I had good eatings at home. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed.